Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Surviving the Aftermath. Quick strategy and tactics quick tip. So today, today Surviving the Aftermath, which has been out for about a year in uh, in uh, early access, it's still in early access, however, it was previously a an Epic Store exclusive. It is now available on um, Steam, or will be shortly. Um, and with it, a new big patch. So I'm going to drop a couple of getting started tips for you guys here today. Uh, in case you haven't picked this game up, or if you uh, played it back in the uh, the original drop on, on the Epic Store and want to get caught up with a few of the new mechanics. Right then, let's dive right in. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the first thing that you need to choose when um, um, starting up a new game is who are your starting specialists going to be? Your starting specialists have a number of different classes, uh, like for example, uh, Mat uh, Makda here has, is a fighter, uh, which generally means her attack is going to be higher than most everybody else's. Um, but the, all, all of these stats are important to you, so you want to keep a, a, an eye out um, and, and a balance out for these. Um, most of your... So let's start with each of these. Your, your speed is how many action points. That's how, uh, how fast you can move around on the world map. Almost everybody has six action points with two exceptions. The scout class, uh, Boone and Jin... Um, uh, get both get seven action points and that extra action points pretty good now interesting thing I noticed here between the two scouts available to you Boone um, has some pretty good stats 20 attack 150 research uh, 30 efficiency on scavenging and 25 HP for that uh, if we look here at Jin um, she's got the exact same everything except she recovers more slowly back home so Jin is actually strictly worse than Boone. Um, so I, I do think having one of the scouts is a good pick. And in, in this case, you want Boone because he's he's got the extra recovery. I don't know if that's if, if she has some sort of hidden attribute to make up for the lack of, uh, of things there. If that's a bug, either way, go with Boone uh, for your scout. Now, some of the others you want, you want somebody with a high scavenging efficiency. This is going to be their ability to get stuff quickly. Um, the other thing that you want to pair with a high scavenge efficiency is high recovery efficiency, with 25 hit points per day being the highest, at least among the starting people. Um, so the, uh, the main thing you want to do with that, this is... Um, you know, find someone with that 50% efficiency, which is the highest you can get, paired with the 25. Wheeler is pretty good. Um, the other person I would actually go for is Raj here. Why Raj? Because he also gets 200 um, research points per day. He's got a little bit less on the uh, on the recovery. Um, the other one was um, uh, would be Domino. She she actually combines the best of all the worlds um, with a, um, a healthy research amount, uh, the fifty percent scavenge, and the max recovery bonus. So we're actually going to go with uh, Domino here. Now the last type of person uh, you might be looking at there are one of the classifications is scientists, and then we have a few scientists um, to pick from. The big claim to fame for the scientists is that they get three hundred um, uh, SP per day on research. Now that looks pretty good. The problem is that the science deposits that you have access to in the early game are generally um, basically a bit over 300. So even with one of the scientists researching them, it's going to take you two days to research it anyway. A person who can do 200 per day will still be able to bang that out in two turns anyway. Uh, not to mention, you know, to pay for the fact that they have 300 SP per day on research, they, um, they some of their other stats will suffer a little bit more. So I actually like to go with a fighter for my final, uh, for my final uh, person here. Um, Baron's a pretty good one, uh, cause he's also got the SP per day. He's got a good attack. Um, but you could also go with, um, someone like Fritz. Now Fritz is uh, terrible at scavenging, but if you have him bounce around, um, just attacking, um, bad guys, um, the, the bandits, the, um, and then popping off any, uh, any research nodes that you might find, it can kind of make up for that. Um, the, um, 
The third one is if you want to sort of lean on Domino as your uh, as your main research person, you could go with Scrappa here, who's got the, the best of both worlds with when it comes to attack, recovery, and scavenging um, for for a fighter class. The only thing they're missing out is on is that research. So you know, let's go with Scrappa. Um, I, any of the fighters would be pretty good here. So that is my recommendations for your starting fighters. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what combinations of fighters you uh, have tried and which ones you might find um, um, uh, good uh, as an alternative to these three. But I would say for your first game, going with these three won't steer you wrong. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, Spin Pin Star signing out. See ya!